video, we're going to go from the new Adobe Acrobat back to the old Adobe Acrobat and vice versa. Stay tuned. All right, Sheridan from projectorsewing.com. Thank you for joining me today. I want to talk about something very important today, program updates. This is Adobe Acrobat that I've opened up and it looks completely different. If this has ever happened to you, it may throw you off and you may be wondering, oh, where is everything? Where are my tools? Where's my Zoom? Your shortcuts will still work the same. It's just the user interface that looks different. But if you don't like the new look, you can revert back to the older version. And this is how you do it. You just go up to your menu, three lines at the top. You're going to click and go down to where it says disable new Acrobat Reader. If you click on that, it's not going to ruin anything. You're just going to push restart. It's going to restart your app. And you can open up. It knows your recent files that you had opened. And here you are. It's looking the same how you are used to it with your layers panel on the left hand side and your zoom at the top. Again, the, the keyboard shortcuts will still work the same. Now, if you decide that you are ready to learn the new layout and you would like to go back to that, you can come over to View and enable new Acrobat Reader. Same process, push restart. It's just going to reload and it will open right back up into our new user interface view. And it, I like how it, it kind of gives you a bigger workspace in here. You have some quick access comment tools here if you are used to wanting to uh, draw lines. I draw the connected lines for quick grading or highlighting or things like that. There is also the layers panel over on the right hand side. And you can click those on and off for what layers you would like just like you did in the previous one. You can click on the zoom if you want to type it in. You can click on it here. You can also still use the shortcuts for zoom. Control Y, which will still bring up your zoom where you can zoom specifically to that. And full screen mode, Control L, which is going to go to full screen mode. Now, this isn't a projector file that I actually have open, so it's just showing me one page at a time. There you have it, a quick how to enable or disable an Acrobat Reader update. Hope you enjoyed this today.